All right, Algebra 2, I'm going to go over this uh, worksheet that we had started in class, uh, writing absolute value equations and inequalities, setting them up on a number line, graphing them, and writing the solutions. So we took some notes last time, and I did the odds with you, and we got most of the way through. Uh, now I'm going to go through the evens. So number two, uh, we want to find the center first. So the center is going to be at negative 1. Again, a quick way to find the center is to take the average of the two endpoints, negative 4 plus 2, divided by 2, gives you negative 1. So there's negative 1 in the center. And then we can either count the spaces or subtract to find the difference. Looks like it's going to be 3. So we put that down. Set up our absolute value bars. We're going to have x minus the center. Since the center is negative, it's going to become a plus 1. And then 3 is going to be on the outside. It's a solid circle, so that's going to make it equal, shaded between, less than or equal to. Easy as that. Number four. In this uh, graph here, again, we can find the center. It looks similar to the other one. Uh, we've got negative six to eight. If you add those together, divide by two, it looks like the center is going to be at one this time. So there's the center. And then eight minus one would be seven. 1 minus negative 6 would also be 7. We would have the absolute value of x minus 1 is less than or equal to 7. Number 6. Here the center, pretty easy to see, the center is going to be at 0. So there's a center at 0. Now you could write x minus 0 in here, but it's just easier to write it as x. And it's got open circles here, and it's shaded on the outside. When it goes out, it is greater. Remember, less is nest, and more is or. So it's greater than, the radius here is 2. So that's all you need for that one. Number 8. Here we have two different points, and we have one at negative 8 and one at 4. Add those together, divide by 2, that's going to be negative 2. Negative 2 is going to be the center, and it looks like it's going 6 in both directions. So this is going to be the absolute value of x minus negative 2, which is going to be x plus 2. Since it's just two points here, it's going to be equality. We're going to have an equal sign, and the radius or the distance is 6. And the last one, going from negative 9 all the way up to 9, the center again is at 0, the radius is 9, and we're going to have, again, we don't need x minus 0, we can simply write it as x. This one is between, and it is equal, because we have solid dots there, so we're going to have x, absolute value of x is less than or equal to 9. Any questions on that? So we go to the back here. So on the back now we're solving equations. So starting with number 12, our center is going to be at 3. And we're going to go 4 units out. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. And 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. Uh, it's not equal, so we're going to have to have open circles in those two spots. That's going to give us 7. That's going to give us negative 1. It is less, less is nest, less is between, inside, so it's shade like that. So there's the graph for it, and to write that, we write negative 1 is less than x, which is less than 7. Uh, later on, I'm going to be writing this with interval notation as well, so we just put the interval notation, and interval notation is actually easier. I use a parenthesis to show an open circle. And I want all the numbers from negative 1 to 7, and a parenthesis there, because it's an open circle, so it does not include the endpoints. So this also represents all the numbers between negative 1 and 7. 14, the center is at 2, and we're going to go 3 units to the right and 3 units to the left. We're going exactly 3, because we have equality. That's going to put us at 5 and at negative 1. So we'd have two dots like that, x equals negative 1 
or five. And I also said you could write that in set notation with the curly braces, negative one and five. 16, absolute value of x minus two is greater than four. So again, the center is at two. This time we're going four out, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And it is greater, it's not equal. So we'd have open circles. More is or, so it's this or this on the outside. And we can write that as X's that are less than, uh, where did that put us? Negative two on that side, X is less than negative two. Or on this side, we'd be at six, or X is greater than six. And again, we're gonna write sometimes an interval notation. So when we start doing that, this side is going all the way to left, all the way to negative infinity. Negative infinity would have a parenthesis there until we get to negative two. Does not include the negative two, so that would have a parenthesis. And then we write the second interval starting at six. It goes all the way to the right, all the way to infinity. Can't include infinity, so that has a parenthesis. And then to tie them together, you put a U, use the glue that holds intervals together. 18, absolute value of x plus two is greater than or equal to one. So we are gonna start, this is plus two, so that means that the center is gonna be at negative two. We add one and we'd be at negative one. We subtract one, we would be at negative three. It is greater than or equal to, so since it's equal, close the circles. More is or, so it's on the outside again, and we'd write that as x's that are less than or equal to negative three, or x's that are greater than or equal to negative one. Again, an interval notation is gonna look similar to above here. We'd write negative one to negative three, this time with a bracket, because it is closed, it includes negative three, and a bracket around the negative one. We always use parentheses around infinity and negative infinity because those can never be included or held together. Number 20, absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to 4. So start with the middle, start with the center is 2. Go four units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. We end up there, which is going to be at 6. Four units to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. We end up there which is going to be negative two. X is equal to negative two or six. Down to 21. <clears throat> so as I said, the uh, last four here are special cases. This is our first one. Absolute value of X minus three is equal to zero. So same thing. We want to start with the center. The center's at three. But this time, our distance that we're traveling is zero. So if we start at three and we walk zero units, where are we? Well, we're right where we started. We're at three. So this is a special case because it only has one solution. X equals three. 22 looks similar. Absolute value of X minus three. Again, we're gonna start at three, but this time it equals a negative two. But we're talking about distance. When does the distance going to equal a negative two. Can you walk a negative two miles? Can you walk negative two feet? I don't think so. So even though we are starting here at the center, we have nowhere to walk, not even zero. So there's no way, no number that we could plug in there that would equal negative two. So what do we write? We can write no solution. So there's a couple different ways to write no solution. You can write it out in words. I abbreviate it. You can use an empty set of braces, or you can use a circle with a line through it. Those all mean no solution or the empty set or null set. And similar for 23, the center is at three. This is saying that the distance away from three is less than negative two. Well, if you can't walk negative two miles, you can't walk less than negative two miles. Uh, so again, this one's gonna have no solution. So no solution. 
for that. So you would just leave the number lines blank on those. And the last one, the center is at three. But this is a little bit different because this says the absolute value is greater than negative two. So when can distance be bigger than negative two? Well, even if I don't move at all, that's still more than negative two. If I move a foot, or if I move two feet, or three feet, or five units, I can move anywhere I'd like. I could plug in any number along this number line. So the solutions here would look like all reals. And again, several ways we can write that. You could write in words, you can make a fancy look at R, or you can write it as an interval, all the numbers from negative infinity to infinity. I guess you could also write it as an inequality in the same way. So that's it for this worksheet. Hopefully that helps. Uh, did I record?